We're asked to find the linear approximation for f of x equals sine 3x at x equals 0, and then use the linear approximation to estimate f of 0 0.1. The linear approximation for f of x at x equals 0 would be the equation of the tangent line to f of x at the point where x equals 0, which means we need to determine the point of tangency and the slope of the tangent line to determine the linear approximation for the given function. Let's first determine the point on the function where x equals zero. If x equals zero, then the y-coordinate is equal to f of zero, which is the sine of three times zero, which equals the sine of zero, which is zero. So now we know when the x-coordinate is zero, so is the y-coordinate, and therefore we're looking for the equation of the tangent line at the point zero comma zero. Next, we need to determine the slope of the tangent line at the point zero comma zero. And the slope of the tangent line is equal to f prime of zero. So given f of x equals the sine of three x, we need to find the derivative function, which notice how it does require the chain rule, where the inner function u is equal to three x. f prime of x is equal to the derivative of sine u with respect to x, which is cosine u times u prime, or in our case, the cosine of three x times the derivative of three x with respect to x, which is three, giving us f prime of x equals three times the cosine of three x. So now we can find the slope of the tangent line by determining f prime of zero, which is three times the cosine of three times zero, which is three times the cosine of zero. The cosine of zero is one, three times one is three. So now we know the slope of the tangent line is three. So now that we have the slope of the tangent line and the point of tangency, we can determine the linear approximation for f of x at x equals zero. Let's go ahead and use point slope form of a line, which is y minus y one equals m times the quantity x minus x one where x1 comma y1 is the point and m is the slope. This gives us y minus zero equals three times the quantity x minus zero, which simplifies nicely to y equals three x. So if we call the linear approximation the function L of x, we now know L of x equals three x. And now we're asked to use this linear approximation to estimate f of 0.1. So the idea here is that f of 0 0.1, which is equal to the sine of three times 0 0.1, is going to be approximately equal to L of 0 0.1, which is equal to three times 0 0.1, or just 0 0.3. So using a linear approximation, again, we have f of 0 0.1, which is exactly equal to the sine of 0 0.3 is approximately equal to 0 0.3. Let's take a look at this graphically. In blue, we have the graph of the given function f of x equals sine 3x. The linear approximation at x equals zero is this red tangent line. And to approximate f of 0 0.1, we use a linear approximation to get the function value of 0 0.3, which we can see graphically as well as from the calculation below, that it is very close to the actual function value f of 0 0.1. I hope you found this helpful.